Hey guys, welcome back to Phantom Sage Powers, where we discuss comics and heroes and villains and insurgents, sieges. <laughs> We're at part 21 of our X of Swords review. Let's jump in. In other world, the Starlight Citadel. I am the birth mother of Deathbringers. When our children were young, I knew how fierce they would become. Yet a mother's love is such that it was my honor to put my body into their tiny mouths to feed them. Knowing they would grow sharp teeth to bite, Knowing I would not sate their hunger for long. Knowing their need would only bow to blood. I have had to endure these beasts. The squalling fruit of our union from my own body. I have mothered them through sickness and excrement and fits and rage. And now, after all of these slights, I must suffer the shame of your tears. I will feed them on this realm and yours. She has summoned reinforcements that are coming this way. We are outnumbered. We must move now. Do not touch me, human. I will not run from my wife. Are you nuts? Buddy, I would totally run from my wife. You deign to speak to me of love, you child, you simpering apocalypse. She will not be stunned for long, and the storm cloud will not rage forever. We need to move now while their army is routed. Stupid, 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 stupid. Shut up, Hog. It may be chaos, but you're not making it any better. Tui. He speaks true. This is not the fight I swore my men to. This is foolish. What's the matter? Scared you can't repeat your previous record? How many of your precious knights had to die before you stopped that blind old lunatic? The Gorgon was a worthy competitor. My men who died were worthy too. We'll sing of them as we drink to our victory. You think you get to decide if your losses are worthy or not? Battles don't keep count. Soldiers do. Men, form on me. March. We didn't come for a battle. We came for a fight. And we won it. You're leaving? You coward. Where's your bloodlust? Don't you want to kill these mutant fools? Drink later on their island while it burns. The fires of war will swallow this land. We must make a decision or face getting caught in the flames. They are down to what? Half a dozen? Decision made. Let's hunt them for sport. Bay? What is she doing? That specific foolishness so precious to mortals. She's choosing love over war. Launch the siege defenses. Moonward Escadril. To the perimeter now. This way, my lady, your study has been prepared. Dreadful weather for a siege. Keep up, dear. Shogo, don't defy me. It's not safe for little boys to do that. Good boy. Now, quit sulking. We don't have the time for it. Yes, the box. Give it here. There is much work to be done if we want to defend the Citadel before things get any worse. Now that Apocalypse's old lady is off our tail, get tired of running. I say we hold the line and take on the wave. Yeah? How did that work out for Gorgon? Or Betsy? Or Rockslide? Fair enough. We lost too many to be reckless. We are vastly outnumbered. To leap into battle mindlessly now would be inviting a great defeat. Now you're concerned about defeat? 
Betsy died for the stupid contest. We listened to your rules, and now they're all thrown away. She could have lived. Did you ever think about how this would end? I thought about this every night for thousands of years. A million nights. No matter what battle I won that day. What greater mystery I had unlocked. No matter how many supple bodies lay beside me in my bed at night, I am always thinking about how this ends. Look out! Huh. Ah! You dare! Don't! Don't, please. She's my wife. We are in desperate need of numbers. Perhaps she wishes to join our side? Is that so, Bay? Do you wish to aid your beloved and his compatriots? Of course she wants to help. You guys don't know her at all. Bay, what are you doing? <laughs> ah, no! Bay, let me go! We need to help them! Doug? No. Don't make me get up from my seat, young man. Come help me with this mosaic here. I could use an eye in the sky for a better look. What do you think? I'm thinking it'll be the perfect addition to this room. Oh, for heaven's sake, put that away. No dragon fire. Especially not in here. You start melting realities in this building and you'll be in big trouble. But if you really want to let loose some dragon fire, well, we can talk. Do you see where she took Douglas? I don't. The Thunderhead is weakening. We are running out of time before nothing holds back the army of Amenth from us. I see endless waves of them. We've gotta find him. That may not be possible, Magic. Oh, f you. I'm not going to die for your family's drama and leave Cypher to the mercy of his wife. Eliana, please. We will endeavor to leave no one behind, but we must stay as one. To be scattered means certain death for us all. Sweet to fight over the last Krakoan flesh. <laughs> My god. Well, I'll be damned. Jubilee? Hell are you doing here? You were supposed to go back home to Krakoa where it's safe, kiddo. Without Shogo? Are you crazy? Looks like the priestesses of the green and I showed up just in time. Priestesses? Did Saturnine send you? She does not send us anywhere, but we will fight to protect the Citadel. Your friend Jubilee said the raging storm meant her friends were fighting for it too. We need to get to the Citadel. We're not going to survive this if we don't get Shogo's help. Shogo, that's right. He's a dragon. We have a mother freaking dragon in that tower. We just need to go get him. And what? Bail on the ground? I got a feeling we're the last thing holding the line down here. Logan is right, Jubilee. These armies are circling. If the Citadel falls, so do a great many realities. We have already lost so much. That Citadel? Not my Citadel. But that kid? That's my son. We will make the decision for you. We are bound to defend the Citadel and must leave you here. Fine, then I'm staying. Alas, Jubilee, this is where we part. We must defend our home and you must defend yours. If anything happens to me down here, he likes you guys so much already. It would be our honor. Let's hurry up and finish this. I miss my kid. Please, please put me down. Bay, I'm not going to lay hands on you in anything less than a loving manner, but you have got to put me down. Ow! Okay, Bay, we have to go back there. Back to my friends. They're already outnumbered, but you can help us. You can come help us. What else am I going to do? Go with you? I can't live here with you. I can't live where you live. I'll die. I can't even eat the bagels from the tree on Kakoa. They make my throat itch. You have to take me back to my friends. You don't have to leave me there. You can come with me. Come with me. You can come back to Krakoa and stay at my place. We're married, aren't we? You're already my hero. But if we go back there, you'll be their hero too. And that can't hurt. My friends will love you. They're going to love you because I, um, ah, you know what? I'll tell you when we get home. And boy, it's 
send them back to hell. Die! Hell yeah! I think they're slowing the demon guys down. Not likely. I have a bad feeling. As well you should. What is the army doing? I can see clear across the battlefield. That doesn't seem right. Douglas? Don't shoot! We're friendly, I promise. I come in peace. I will fight alongside you and the man I have chosen as my beloved. We must steal ourselves for the final confrontation. Oh, I hope you're saying something good. Eyes up, Team Krakoa. Looks like someone came to get their asses kicked. There she is. How embarrassing, Bay, to get caught on the losing team. How embarrassing, Iska, to march with so many and yet be so alone. You smell like puke. And a great many other things, I assure you. No, no more, more games, games pestilence. pestilence. It, is it is clear, clear that we have won, won. And, and it is, it is time, time for our spoils. spoils. I, I want, want first this land, land then Avalon, Avalon then Krakoa to burn like Dryador did. Then I want to feast on the ashes and dream of the future. My next lover, my next brood, my next conquest. And I want to erase your names so that you are simply another failed experiment and all that will ever be remembered of Krakoa and the great nation of mutants will be. How easily you let yourselves be played like pawns. The magistrate's work was nearly done. And so the call was sent to each reality, ancient and infant alike. When the Citadel calls, Captain Britain must answer. In these shattered pieces lay the last of what had been the Starlight Sword, stolen from a deserving man by a determined woman. Surely, with this spell, she could correct the wrongs that had been done to her. Surely, while her castle rocked around her, she would not also have her heart besieged. But when the Citadel calls, Captain Britain must answer. <coughs> For the sword was in the hand of Betsy Braddock. No. And there it would remain. No! Now and forever. No! All right. Cool issue. Really hardcore. So it seems like the Krakoan team is getting some backup on several fronts. We got the Priestess of the Green come in with Jubilee. We got Bay the Blood Moon defecting sides to join Cypher, her husband, her beloved, to fight with Krakoa, which is pretty awesome. Meanwhile, in the Citadel, Saturnine is busy crafting this spell made from the broken pieces of Betsy Braddock. It appears this was all part of her plan or, or at least some kind of contingency that she had in mind that she could repiece these fractured, shattered remnants of Captain Britain and retrieve the Starlight Sword or I'm not sure what she thought. I think she thought she was just going to get the sword and be able to remove it and use it to recall Captain Britain Corps. Unfortunately for her, that sword, that title is going to remain with Betsy Braddock. It's very interesting because she seemed quite desperate. It was something she said on another issue about desperation and magic that stuck with me. Magic will teach you a lesson if respected and you don't know is it something that you desire or is it something you're desperate for and this definitely seemed like something she was desperate for but to her chagrin betsy braddock will remain captain britain and it seems like across the multiverse more captain britain will be showing up to help and they all appear to be versions of betsy braddock so this is kind of cool now annihilation slash genesis she wants everything now that it wants everything so do i so this is pretty much the final clash uh, the last issue, Chapter 22, will be out shortly. Thank you guys for continuing to support. And if you like this issue and like this episode, please hit that thumbs up. 
If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, and I'll see you in the next episode.